the script. Again, open. Well, once we're in this MAR Garch directory, and let's load main program example one. Okay. Now, this is the Armagarch library we've created. This is our product. That's in R. It, we, our, the reason we had to install it in a certain directory is the scripts are made to look for all of our files and our information off of this directory. So that's why you had to install it there. This section top of the script tells us what dates range we're going to be analyzing. This is from 2000, January of 2005 to July 10th of 2017. Now we're going to optimize so we can find the best set of parameters. There's also an update mode, and that update mode is what we're going to run every night when we get new data. Okay, we're going to analyze SPY, the SPY, which is the ETF that tracks the S&P. We're going to test three different lengths, 125, window for calculating our Armagarch, 250 for calculating our Armagarch model, or 500. That is how much data is used to calculate the model. This model is actually rel very robust and actually is walked forward one bar at a time. So we're calculating it on 250 days of data, for example, rolling it forward one bar, and then recalculating it for the 250 days. So it's actually a one bar walk forward all the way through the data. Now this op run length is a filter that I put in which um, is not useful in, in a lot of cases, so we'll just leave that at minus one. Okay, now here's what's important. The package comes with default data. And if you say data dot directory equals empty double quotes, then it will use the default data. And the data type is zero, which is the internet for this. Now, later on here, this information here is what we're going to be using when we get to update mode, which is what we run every night. But for now, it is not used. Right now, what we're using is what is stored here. Okay. All right. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. So first, this is our library. Next, we have the directory we installed everything in, and this is where it's looking for, for things, so that's why we had to install it in that C drive area. If you install it somewhere else, you have to change all of the scripts. Here's the date range we're acting over, 2005 to July 10th of this year. We're going to do this in optimized mode. There's also an update mode, which is what we'd run every night. Then if optimized mode is true, then we have to set how, what our optimized variables. We're going to run this on SPY. We could run this on multiple markets. So for example, we could do something like SPY and financial stocks and whatever else we want. But we don't have to. In this case, we're just going to use SPY. But you separate things in a list like, like that simply would put the double quotes around it and, and go out with commas. But if you add symbols here for the file names, and you see no extension to them because we're going to actually pull the data off of the Internet in this case, you have to add them to this list here, which is the symbols. So if we added, let's go back here, XLE, we would have to add... XLE in double quotes here also. 
So we won't do that here. We want to run our set demos. All right, we're going to run three different window lengths here, 125, 250, and 500. Now, what that is is how many bars are used to calculate our arm of Garch model. And everything is a walk forward one bar at a time. So it has nothing to do with the retraining period. It has to do with how much data is used to calculate the model. Then we roll the data forward one day and then recalculate the model completely. That's why this takes so long to run. All right. Um, you can see the directory is empty double quotes. All of the default data you would use empty double quotes to use any of the data that comes with the program instead of your own data. And we will show you later how to use your own data. You would load with empty double quotes. And this is your output directory. You see nothing in front of it. It's just I output um, forward slash. This will actually write the results to that C colon Armagarch directory we created. Now you're asking what kind of data it is. And in this case, it's data type zero, which is the internet. So we'll run this script. Select all and run. And you can see here that it is outputting results uh, over here. And if it can't converge, it'll tell that too. So when this finishes, we will have results for all three of these runs, and we can see which one's the best, and we can decide which one we'd probably want to use out of that short run if we want to actually predict the S&P um, SPY, the ETF of the S&P, and use it as part of a trading system.